Well, we have uh, each school has their own protocols in place. Uh, it's called the uh, the general response protocols. Uh, they they encounter all like an all hazards approach uh, for all incidents. Uh, so each school practices these events. Uh, maybe there'll be a shelter in, uh, a fire drill, evacuation. Uh, so, so all these protocols are in place, and it's instilling it uh, with the kids and the staff, and they're practicing it, and, and that's how we're going to get them to uh, treat it as if it's a, a real emergency. They'll they'll follow through with those procedures. Uh, each school is doing it. Uh, we also have uh, each school has town hall meetings, uh, one per year, uh, there to allow the the community, the school community, which uh, obviously are the parents. Uh, most of all, to let them know that what's happening in the schools. I know as a parent myself, the first thing I really want to do is get to my kid and help them. But the main thing that we re really need to, to understand is by us rushing up to the school, we can actually prevent emergency workers from getting there. And, and the first priority is the safety of the students and the staff. And, and we also need to keep in mind that if the school is on a shelter in or a lockdown, nobody from the outside is going to be allowed in and nobody from the inside is going to be allowed out. So getting to the school is not gonna help you get your children faster when that emergency incident is happening. So let's wait for the, the notification to come from emergency personnel and from the school, and then when the all clear is given, that's when you can go get your child. And I think that's something that we all need to, to remember.